this stuff right here is potassium iodide tablets. They come in a pack of uh, 14, 130 milligram dosages. And this stuff is specifically designed for um, as a thyroid blocking agent in a, radi in a radiation emergency. Radiation emergency can be things like uh, nuclear fallout, post-nuclear blast, if you live in a big city that is uh, at risk of being attacked by a terrorist or a rogue nation that has a uh, nuclear armament. Or if you live near a nuclear power plant, uh, whether it be a technological disaster, which means something happened to the power plant where it blows up and starts, starts emitting radiation, or if it's a natural disaster like, like what happened in Japan, where there's a uh, you know massive natural disaster that caused the uh, reactors to be unattended and power to go out, and eventually it fails and starts emitting emitting radiation in the environment. In any of those situations, if you feel that you are in the path of um, radiation leakage or nuclear post-nuclear bomb fallout, you want to have some of this stuff on hand. The way that this stuff works is that it saturates your thyroid gland with iodine. And iodine is something that your body needs on a daily basis, but definitely not this much of it. Uh, your body needs about 150 micrograms of iodine where uh, when people eat a lot of seafood, stuff like that, they get it naturally. And if you don't eat a lot of seafood, you don't live near the ocean where you have access to the stuff, you know, much easier and cheaper, you can get iodized salt to get iodine, iodine in your system because if you don't get it, you can get either hypo or hypo hyper or hypothyroidism and uh, that could cause uh, health problems. Um, your daily your daily recommended, recommended allowance for iodine is like I said 150 micrograms which is 0 .0 or 0 0.15 gram or 0 0.15 milligram and this stuff is 130 milligrams uh, of the 130 about a hundred of that is composed of iodine so you're talking about each one of these pills having uh, about 700 times the recommended daily uh, allowance for iodine. So what it does is when there's a when there's radiation emergency and there's radiation iodine in the air, your body you'll breathe it in or we, you know it will get into your system somehow. And what happens is is your thyroid absorbs the iodine, the radiate radioactive th uh, iodine into your system. And um, that could give you radiation sickness because, you know, it's, it's an unstable iodine. So what this does is it saturates your thyroid with a stable version of iodine. So your thyroid has, can no longer absorb any of the foreign unstable iodine that it's being, that's being introduced to your body. So it buys you some time to be able to get out of Dodge to find a place where you're safer or you can, you know, maybe wait for the fallout to kind of... Um, kind of fade away and let the uh, let the air be safer and the environment be safer for you to, to inhabit. Um, like I said earlier, one of the most naturally occurring iodine sources is um, seafood. And in fact, what it is, is is kelp, seaweed in the ocean. You don't get a lot of it. As a matter of fact, I think to get the equivalent amount of what's in one of these tablets, you have to eat something like you know, five to ten pounds of dried seaweed. And that's just not humanly possible. Seaweed doesn't weigh a whole lot, especially when it's dried and it doesn't weigh nothing at all. And to eat that much seaweed just to get enough iodine to saturate your thyroid, it's virtually impossible. So this stuff is, you know, pretty handy to have. And they last a while as long as you keep it sealed up like it is. Um, because iodine does oxidate, and as it oxidates, you're going to lose effectiveness over time. And before you know it, if it's exposed to air, these pills are worthless. So you want to keep it sealed up like it is. And, um, you know, keep it with your first aid kit. So if something were to happen, you, uh, you will know exactly what to do. Take one of these a day. So this is about a two-week dosage. And for your kids, 
based on their body weight, give the give the doses to them accordingly. You can buy this stuff pretty much anywhere, eBay, Amazon. I'll put a link in the description box uh, where you can buy this. Um, I also put a, put some links in the description box on uh, you know some more information about potassium iodide. Uh, keep in mind that potassium iodide is only effective against radioactive iodine. So there's other types of radiation poisoning that is uh, not specifically related to radioactive iodine. So this stuff won't protect you from that. Um, but it will give you protection against uh, radiation poisoning that is probably one of the most common ones in these emergency situations which is uh, radioactive iodine. Doesn't cost very much. I think I paid maybe 40 bucks for five of these. So go get yourself some, have a peace of mind. Even if it never happens, it's only 40 bucks. And they last for practically ever as long as you keep it in sealed condition like this. Thanks for watching.